One of the big things that you'll notice if you you have a Core i5 type tablet is that um, there's a fan and when that tablet boots up you hear the fan spinning sometimes um, and it gets a lot warmer obviously than the surface. So the surface does not have a fan. I have yet to feel it getting warm to the touch compared to the Samsung tablet um, which gets warm all the time. One of the other big things, of course, is with this tablet, Samsung tablet, I might be able to get three, maybe three and a half hours worth of uh, um, battery out of it. Um, the Surface has gone at least uh, eight hours with me um, since I've gotten it. So, big difference in terms of the battery life. Uh, one of the other big differences is the Surface comes with um, this touch cover. Um, I actually think it works pretty well. Um, I seem to be able to type just as fast on it as a regular keyboard. Um, and it just snaps on. Uh, one of the great advantages of this, no Bluetooth to sort of uh, have to keep in sync. Um, you just snap it on, it's got power, it's connected, and works with that surface. Of course, one of the things that the Samsung tablet has that the surface does not is a digitizer so I can put this pen down and the tablet will recognize it separately from my hand uh, the surface not so much so if you're using OneNote and you like to do a lot of inking like I do um, in meetings and whatnot um, you're not going to be able to use to do that on the surface uh, you'll have to clip on that uh, keyboard and start typing whereby on my Samsung tablet I can take notes um, uh, right in the meeting and uh, without using a keyboard. So those are sort of the, the kind of high level differences. Obviously one of the other big differences on the Surface is that it doesn't run native applications. Um, so for example the desktop in the Surface will only run the Office um, suites of products whereby the Samsung tablet or the, or the Intel tablet will run other um, applications that you might have today like Chrome and Zoom for example so things you might download from the internet uh, whereby the Surface will only work with applications you download from the Windows Store so speaking of the Windows Store let's load it up on both of these tablets at the same time and see who loads it faster. Oops. So as you can see the Samsung um, tablet, let's, uh, let's do that over just to test it, but I expect the Samsung will be faster in every case considering it's a Core i5, but again you can get an idea of the speed comparison between the two systems. So in terms of scrolling through, um, you know, they're both very responsive. You, you do notice a difference with the surface in the way in how it renders the things on the screen. So for example, if I go really fast on the surface, you'll see that the stuff sort of disappears and then uh, shows up whereby on the Samsung tablet I was never able to get that to happen. So it doesn't matter how fast I go, this thing always seems to keep up. So again, Samsung tablet much faster, but if you're, if you're going through this like a normal human being, you're not going to notice that. You're not going to be zipping through this so fast uh, that it's going to go blank. Of course, if you want to go fast, it's best to, to zoom out and you know, zoom back into the area. And that works fairly well. So, that's the store. Let's go back and let's launch maybe uh, Internet Explorer. Oh, missed it there. Missed it again. So we'll close it down and I'll launch them again together and you can get an idea of how uh, speed comparison with the two of them. There you go. 
So you can see the Samsung Series tablet loaded it faster. Again, the surface not too far behind. So again, when you're when you're thinking about the performance differences in your everyday apps, so far it doesn't seem to really uh, take that much longer to to launch. Let's uh, let's try Word. see here we are so these are desktop based applications again super quick on the Samsung it's up it's ready the surface a little further behind but not that far behind let's uh, let's create a new document here oops oh, oh, I had it. So, uh, in terms of the uh, word, seem to load up in a similar way. Let's try um, maybe Excel. Again, you can see the differences in speed are not that much between the Core i5 and the the ARM base. So let's uh, let's close these guys. That's it's almost identical. What else can we load here? How about this fresh paint? So again, loads up. Oh, fun pack. Let's go ahead and buy that for zero dollars. Wow, that one finished really fast. Now these are both connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi, but uh, I think maybe the Surface didn't like that, or it's still maybe it's still downloading. So while it's doing that, let's see if we can open up a new drawing. And let's just see how well, you know, it will it tries to keep up, okay? So again, it's hard to kind of do this. Um, The performance between the two of these tablets in these um, modern or metro apps, whatever you want to call them, seems pretty, pretty equal considering the power differences. So enough of my finger painting. Let's see, let's, uh, let's try just loading up a game. Let's see here. The uh, pinball game is a fairly intensive game, so let's load them up on both of them. Let's see what happens. You can see the uh, Core i5 Samsung tablet out in front. Loading it up very quickly. And ready to go. And now the Surface tablet ready to go. Let's just tap on both of them.
we can turn the, the sound off on both of these tablets so we don't have them making too much noise. So you can see they both loaded up uh, and in fact I believe the Surface signed into uh, Xbox Live faster than the Samsung tablet. Let's load up these uh, levels. Let's do it over here. Single player. So as you can see the Samsung tablet definitely finishing fast and first. Surface catching up. Let's start the game. See if I can play two sets of pinball at the same time. See how good I am. Not very good. <laughs> you get an idea of that these two the responsiveness both of these uh, tablets seem almost the same to me. It's, once it gets within this game, I don't see any any lag or anything on on this end. So yeah, so there you go. It's pinball. Both seem to be the same to me.